okay, well, and I'm just kind of setting up a timeline. Yeah. A couple of years later, in 2006, Jim Jones drops We Fly High, yeah. a.k.a. Ballin', yeah. which was written by Max B. I don't know if it was written by Max B. Well, Max B worked on that song, though, didn't he? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know this situation. Well, Max B was down with, they were working together during this. Yeah. Time. However you want to, however yeah. you want to, uh, you know, describe it. Max was part of Bird Gang, which was Jim Jones's crew. Yeah. Did you know Max during that time? No. No. Okay. Because a year later, you came out with French Revolution Volume 1, 2007. Um... Was it a year later? That's your French Revolution. Yeah, I remember dropping. I, I don't. I don't remember the exact year. I think it was that year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And that had straight cash on it. Yeah. Uh, that was your first song that kind of started to buzz. Yeah. And by this time, you've been putting in years of work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is not. Something that came overnight for you. Yeah, yeah. I was putting out a bunch of freestyles on the DVDs, but I never really put out like official songs of mine. Right. And Straight Cash was the first song that really started to, you know, buzz and people yeah. started playing and everything else like that. And you started getting some shows around this. And from what I understand, uh, Connecticut was the one that first showed you love. Yeah. Shout out to my man, Jake. Yeah, yeah. I shout think out he, to Jake. he booked you for your first show. I think he did. Yeah. I think he booked me for my first show. It was me, Max B, and Maserati Fox. Rest in peace. Got it. Is that around the time you met uh, Max B? I think that is the time I met Max B. Okay, and what was it about you two that really got you tight? Um, I had motion in the Bronx. He had motion in Harlem. Um, basically, it was I had the DVDs going. This this what happens. I had the DVD game on lock, and I had my music thing going. He had music on lock, and I was like, "Yo, bro." I said, if me and you put a mixtape together with a DVD, mm -mm. I think we'll be the biggest thing in the city. I had that vision. I was like, yo, bro, I see you putting out your mixtapes. I'm putting out my mixtapes. I put out French Revolution. I did all this. He had a million dollar baby. I, I forgot what other mixtapes he had. I'm like, yo, bro, we got a buzz. Like, we, we there. But if me and you get together and do Coke Wave and we slap the Cocaine City brand, and do like we was like ahead of our time, DVD with a mixtape. So when we did that, oh hell broke loose. Yeah, I think uh, me and Game did something like that. Yeah, around that time as well on okay. the West Coast. Yeah, copied. So, I copied for me. Possibly, yeah. No, no, I'm joking. Probably. Maybe you know. I mean, I mean, all of us were kind of you <laughs> yeah, know, it was the, the same, same that we was all doing we were the, the same, same fishbowl trying to figure yeah, it out. Shout, shout out to I Chuck. I may have. Yeah, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to Chuck. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, man. We, yeah. we were all trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was all, yeah, yeah we was all Shout trying to figure it out. New Jersey Devil, he did it with me as well. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But that that was kind of like the wave because like mixtapes were kind of yeah. in transition and DVDs were the hot thing. So yeah. to put a DVD in a mixtape made a lot of sense back then. Put both worlds together, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, But that same year, 2007, Max B gets arrested for murder. Mm hmm. Allegedly. Well, he gets arrested for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no legend about that. <laughs> Whether he did it or not, yeah, who yeah. knows? Yeah. But he gets arrested. Yeah. Now, he makes, you know, makes bail, so he's still out. Yeah. But he has that hanging over his head. Mm hmm You also get married that same year. Mm hmm And uh, you end up having a son a few years later. Yeah. So then that next year, you put out your second mixtape, Live from Africa. Yeah. How did that one do? Um, I don't remember how I do, but I did, but it, it all my mixtapes did good because people love when I drop mixtapes. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you start working with Max B. You guys put out the song Wavy. Yeah, and then, like you said, I think it was around two thousand nine. You and Max B dropped Coke Wave. Yeah, how did people really react to that? Man, it was you can't go to a car that wasn't playing it in the city, and like it was just. It just took the city by storm. I mean, New York loved movements. So, yeah. you know, when we got together and we just dropped Coke Wave, it was just like, you know, the biggest movement in the city. Right. And then you guys dropped uh, Coke Wave 2. Coke and relatively 3. Relatively quickly. Yeah, Coke Wave 2 and Coke Wave 3. Right. This yeah. is when me and you meet. 
Yeah. Right around that time. I had the studio in Chinatown. Yeah. No, we kind of, we, we met, we met before, uh, Coke Wave. Oh, but, you know, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We met while doing DVDs. Uh, yeah. But I'm saying, but Vlad TV. When did I do, um, So Special? I'm So Special. Right around 2009. Yeah. So I did that before I got with Max B. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm trying to, the timeline is a little fuzzy. It's yeah, a long yeah, time yeah. Ago. I did but yeah, that. Vlad TV launched in 2008 yeah. in LA. I moved back to New York. And mm-hmm. then right around 2009, I had that studio in Chinatown. Mm-hmm. And then, me and you started doing interviews and we started filming some of your music videos yeah. and putting them up on our YouTube channel. Yeah. And it was like, okay, this is one of the hot yeah. dudes in New York. This is, you know, this is, this, this is very important for young artists coming up and young entrepreneurs to hear our story, though. Yeah. It's just, it's just because there's so many, so many entrepreneurs and, and, and rappers that's coming up in the game that even, even you're like, you know, when you look at everything that's going on, it's hard for them to fit in. So what we did was kind of something that's so special when we was ahead of our time. So now, if you're a young artist, you got to really pay attention and, and, and always try to go through the window when everybody's trying to get through the door. Cause that's what we did, you know? Well, it was a bunch of dudes that were like in their late 20s, early 30s, mm-hmm. that were hustling in New York, trying to figure out yeah. where we fit in. None of us had deals. Yeah. None of us had money. Exactly. Shout out to Fendi. Yeah. Fendi had to come Fendi up. Fendi had to come up DVD. Yeah. There was a bunch shot of different DVDs. Terrell Blair and um, shot the um, tone in them. They had um, streets. Um, they started doing a documentary. They started doing, um, I forgot what they call. But they had all the documents. Shot Sub Zero. Sub Zero. That was another one. After. Yeah. yeah, we were all in the same fishbowl. Yeah, we created we created like a like 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 a whole movement. Right. This is before YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So right. We, we or, no, the, YouTube was still no. YouTube was very early yeah. in the process. YouTube actually was around at that time. Yeah. It was 2008 when you shot the smack man. He's he he he, cre- he was the king of it. all. He created yeah. he created something yeah, he, he that, that got, that got us all out the hood. That got us all like situated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think all of us benefited off of that. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and then you hooked up with Harry Fraud. Yeah. And you guys put out New York Minute. Yeah. Featuring Jadakiss. So the, the thing is with Harry Fraud is when Max B got locked up, I was the most blackballed artist. You know what I'm saying? And 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 nobody wanted to fuck with me because, you know, it, I was just, you know, we was beefing with everybody. Right. Well, Max B was beefing with Jim Jones. Yeah. And you were aligned with Max it's actually B. Max B, so that's how that thing happened. Yeah. But it's like I was the most blackboard artist, so everybody counted me out. It's like I was just about to get my deal. Max B's about to get his deal. We was just about to take off. Max B gets 75 years. Well, he's not locked up yet. No, but, no, but, but he's facing 75 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is, this, this is after he got locked up. I mean, no. We haven't gotten there yet. Okay, all right. Yeah, he, he got arrested, but remember, he was still out. He was fighting it. He was fighting it. Yeah. He was dropping music, dropping music. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I remember Max during this time, man, like, you could tell how heavy it was weighing on him because yeah, yeah. he was always drunk. Because he was drinking gallons of Henny every night. Gallons. Like, yeah. I remember I went to this to uh, Dame Grease's studio. I met you. That's where we did that one interview. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. talked about the shooting. Yeah, we were Brown. trying to do something with Max, and Max was just falling down drunk. It was Mount, it was, right. Mount, but I can imagine if I had a murder hanging over my head, I'd yeah. probably be the same way. Yeah. It was, yeah, I remember. It was, yeah. Mount, it was in Mount Vernon. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, New York Minute was a song that started to buzz, and Mace jumped on it. Mace jumped on it. He Mace Mace wasn't rapping at the time. Right, he was he, Pastor Mace. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> and he just loved the song. He just, you know, we, we we got together and he just did a verse on it. And Nicki Minaj jumped on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Nicki, actually, I remember Nicki came by my studio. Well, the studio I was renting a table from, yeah. essentially in Chinatown, just to do a verse. Crazy. And I remember we were sitting around and no one knew who she was, and she yeah. got in the booth, and everyone was like, "Who is this?" Yeah. Like, damn. Like you know, certain people. Yeah. 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 Are just so good that you just have to stop and notice. Yeah, 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 she exactly. was one of those early yeah. on. Yeah, exactly. 